Okay, let's welcome uh, Mr. Jom Jacob, rubber index analyst, will be giving a talk on the natural rubber market outlook. Let me brief you about Mr. Jom Jacob. He is well recognized, well known rubber industry analyst with extensive experience of um, more than 30 years in analyzing rubber market, forecasting industry trends, and formulating long term policies and development plans for natural rubber sector. He served the Association of Natural Rubber Producing Countries, shortly called ANRPC at Kuala Lumpur, as its a senior economist for 11 years. Before that, he worked for the Rubber Board of India by holding various positions for 23 years. So let's uh, welcome Mr. Joam Jacob to give it um, what is a natural rubber market outlook looks like. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of the Natural Rubber Outlook. In fact, the title of this program was Natural Rubber Review, but we are giving more focus on the outlook because audience is interested to know what is going to happen in the coming week rather than what happened in the previous week. So we are giving more focus on the outlook rather than the review. But before going into the outlook for this week, uh, let us have a quick review of the performance of the natural rubber market uh, during the last week. We have uh, one, only one slide here, uh, which is showing the trends in the prices during the previous week. Uh, first of all, uh, we will review futures markets. We have three important Asian futures market for natural rubber. One is Shanghai, the other is Saikom TSR20, and the other is Osaka RSS3. Shanghai rubber futures, uh, the most active contracts, which is a contract expiry in September, average during last week 0.6% higher, means uh, less than 1% higher during last week compared to a week before. That means the market momentum was too low. But Saikom TSR20, uh, the August contracts averaged 2.6 percent higher during last week compared to a week before. Coming to Osaka, RSS3 is the most active contract and uh, expiring October, average only 0.01 percent higher. That means that there is not much uh, increase or decrease in price compared to a week before. Means the price is almost same compared to a week before. That means. In the case of physical futures market, only in the case of Psycom TSR20, we have seen a major uptrend, 2.6% higher compared to a week before. And coming to physical markets, uh, nearly 80% of the 70% uh, of the global trade in natural rubber is in the form of TSR, technically specified rubber. And the most uh, popular uh, traded form is uh, trade grade is STR20. We have two important markets for physical market for that. So one is uh, Bangkok and the other is Kuala Lumpur. STR20 Bangkok averaged 2.2% higher during last week compared to a week before. But SMR20, the equivalent grade in Kuala Lumpur, SMR20 averaged only 0.1% higher compared to a week before. That means Bangkok, Bangkok market exhibited higher momentum, substantially higher momentum, 2.2% higher compared to a week before. Uh, but in the case of 20, SMR 20 Kuala Lumpur, the uptrend was only lower. So I will be, this is because largely because of the uh, rains which disrupted tapping in Thailand, which is uh, accounting 35% of the uh, global output of natural rubber. So that was reflected in the price of STR 20 in Bangkok. Coming to RSS markets, ribbed smoked sheet market, we have two important markets. One is Bangkok FOB, the other is RSS4 at quarter time local markets. Bangkok RSS3 averaged 2.0% higher compared to a week before. Uh, as in the case of STR20, RSS3 markets uh, uh, was supported by the rain induced tapping disruption. That means because of the rains, uh, harvesting was disrupted and that was uh, that was impacted on the uh, comfortable availability or supply in the domestic markets. In the answers uh, for quarter markets, 
prices averaged last week 1.1 percent higher compared to a week before in kerala or in the uh Kote market also reflect the uh the uh, supply disruption due to rain because last week uh supply was disrupted harvesting was disrupted due to unseasonal uh, depression rains in the state of kerala which is accounting nearly 70 percent of india's total natural rubber output and coming to latex markets we have two important markets one is bangkok and the other is kuala lumpur Bangkok market averaged 1.2 percent higher during last week compared to a week before. Uh, in the case of Bangkok market, as in the case of STR and RSS, uh, the market was supported by the rain-induced harvesting disruption. But in the case of latex labor, prices averaged only 0.1 percent higher. So this is the summary of the physical market as well as which is market. So. Coming to, so this this was what happened during last week. Now let us see what can happen in the coming weeks, coming week, what is expected. We will go to the another slide, which is uh, giving some of the important factors which are going to influence the markets in the coming week. So prices are determined basically by two factors. One is supply and demand fundamental. The other is, market sentiment which we broadly put as non-fundamental factors so first we will on the left side of this slide we have supply demand fundamental so what can happen in the supply and what can happen in the demand supply uh, the global supply of natural rubber for the global supply of natural rubber the period from june uh, until jan coming january it represents the period of flush season flush season that means a period having high supply so at the moment the world rubber uh, world natural rubber supply is in the high season means a uh, represent is, is in the season having high supply so supply is high that is a plus factor for the supply which the supply will be higher because of the seasonal factor that is one thing but at the same time supply will be disrupted in a number of countries for example thailand which is representing 35 percent of the global supply uh, supply in thailand will be disrupted due to the rain because now uh, uh, june july is a rainy season in thailand and that will be disrupting supply supply will be there for some of some some in some of the days farmers will not be able to harvest the trees because of the rains similar is a situation in the case of india myanmar and sri lanka in fact myanmar and sri lanka are small producing countries india also representing only five percent of the global supply but the situation in thailand is different because thailand is representing 35 percent of the global supply so the rains in thailand right, because of the rainy season this month in may uh, june and july it will be rainy season in thailand especially southern part of thailand which is representing nearly 65 percent of the total supply of natural rubber from thailand so that will be having a so that means that we have supply season coming in world over, but at the same time, we have to take into supply disruption due to rain. So this is what is going to happen in the supply. That means uh, Bangkok markets will get the support of the uh, this supply disruption due to rain in Thailand. This we can expect during the coming week. And uh, looking into demand outlook, in fact, at the moment, uh, world economy is at the risk because chances of uh, there is increasing chances of another global economic recession and uh, the chances of global re economic recession coming in uh, is high according to a recent statement by the international monetary fund recent statement by the uh, international monetary fund which was made at the world economic forum laos uh, the current crisis in the global economy is the worst since the second world war that means uh, the crisis in the world economy is the worst means global demand for natural rubber is directly linked to economic trend. So whatever happening in the economy will be impacting on the global demand prospects for natural rubber. So that means uh, in the short term or until the uh, Ukraine war reaches a ceasefire, and the global economy especially supply chain and all the sectors come to normal uh, the demand process will be kept down 
so that is the uh, story about the demand side and also we have to consider that manufacturing activities world over are uh, now expensive because of the various factors one is one important factor is a high energy prices and uh, according to energy outlook uh, coming from various reputed agencies energy prices will remain high at least for one more year remain high and we are actually energy analysts are actually expecting oil prices going further up that means uh, the manufacturing cost is going to be uh, going to be high or manufacturing is going to be expensive because of the high energy cost there are other factors also supply chain disruption high commodity prices raw material prices there are some several other factors negatively impact on impacting on the global manufacturing and all this will be reflecting on the global demand for natural rubber but only there is one positive factor in the demand side because china's covid curse will be easing it is not totally lifting but some of the restrictions will be relaxing so that means that we are not expecting a major positive impact because of the china's uh, covid easing because it's a gradual reopening of the industry of the of the uh, from the from the covid out covid lockdown so impact will be marginal so putting together supply is likely to be higher but supply from thailand and some of the countries will be disrupted due to the rain and the demand outlook is uh, is a means a, is a we have the bleak outlook means a negative outlook for the demand sector so supply demand fundamental we how this coming in the coming week supply demand fundamental is not favorable now the other thing apart from supply and demand there are non fundamental factors which are influence the market sentiment one major concern which we shared last week was the uh, possible aggressive rate hike by the us federal reserve but last wednesday the minister of the federal reserve fomc meeting came out accordingly based on the minutes it is clear that federal reserve will not go for an aggressive rate hike this is a plus factor so it means uh, if there is no aggressive rate hike that means uh, the speculative investors will uh, that will be that so the, the, that position will be attracting speculative investors to uh, risky investment that is a plus factor for uh, looking in the, in the sentiment side but we have a number of factors negatively impacting on the market sentiment first of all strong dollar high interest rates and uncertainty factor uncertainty in the sense uncertainty arising from the ukraine war so these things strong dollar high interest rate and the uncertainty factors will keep speculative investors uh, away from uh, risky uh, asset classes so that means uh, there are there is certain factor uh, dissuading speculative investors in rubber future so, so that is one negative factor another negative factor but at the same time easing of china lockdown can have a positive sentiment in the market so we have a mix of factors uh, impact influencing the market sentiment both negative and positive but more dominant factor will be the concern over global economic recession so uh, with these points in mind let us see what we can expect next week in the uh, in the coming day so what could be the price trend during this week during this week sentiment in global natural rubber market is likely to be overshadowed or do dominated by the ukraine war and uh, its global economic repercussions so that will be the more dominant factor and according to as i mentioned earlier uh, the global economy is facing its worst crisis since world war second second world war so the disrupted week uh, the demand prospects will prevent the market from making major recovery during this week we are not anticipating a major recovery because of the dominant negative influence of the ukraine war and this global economic repercussion so it means the damage to the global economy is much wider much deeper uh, so that means uh, it is coming out only but 
prices can make marginal recovery in spite of the above negative factor prices can make marginal recovery not major marginal recovery in the coming week there are three factors supporting such a view one easing of covid curves in china that will be having a, a marginal positive impact on the prices especially in the shanghai markets and uh, rain induced uh, tapping harvesting disruption especially in thailand which is representing 35 percent of the global supply so that will be having giving some positive supply in the physical market especially in thailand and uh, uh, thailand is very important for the global global nr markets and also high petroleum prices uh, high petroleum prices means uh, synthetic rubber will be more expensive and uh, that can uh, one thing that will be attracting uh, that will be making a natural rubber more uh, economically uh, more attractive wherever substitution is possible but at the same time uh, uh, this will be helping what is called uh, attracting speculative investors in rubber futures because speculative investors uh, they will speculate on possible substitution from synthetic rubber to natural rubber when oil price goes up. So that means in the coming week, uh, market sentiment will be over dominated by the Ukraine war and, and the resultant economic, negative economic repercussions. But prices can make marginal recovery held by the three factors I pointed out. So that's all about the uh, market outlook for the coming week. We will see you again next week at the same time. Thank you very much. And that's about the natural rubber market outlook. Um, you know, I'd like to introduce you that, you know, Mr. Jom Jacob is offering a <coughs> master class on natural rubber economics on the 15th June. Anybody interested, you can register for it. And also, as you know, Technobis, in collaboration with Mr. Jom Jacob, organizing a monthly program focusing on the natural rubber uh, industries in a region called NR Dialogue. Our next episode on the 27th June, episode number six, which is will be part of the rubber industry news hour on Mondays. Okay? And uh, we'll have a natural rubber industry in Thailand. Our guest for the NR Dialogue on 27th is Mr. Supadej Pongsaku. He is a Deputy Director, uh, Secretary General of Thai Rubber Association. He is also Executive Secretary for the International Rubber Association. If anybody interested, uh, you can register. This is a, you know, this is a part, is going to be part of the rubber industry news server on the, on the 27th of June.